It's not long now until the Women's World Cup bursts onto the scene here in Bristol. In fact, you can find out exactly how long if you pop down to Cabot Circus, as this week a shiny new countdown clock was unveiled. Yesterday the World Cup felt a long way away and now we've unveiled the clock, it's, it's just around the corner. Um, but I think it's great that you know the clock's going to be here in the centre of Bristol, uh, in the big shopping centre, kind of everyone walking past it and plenty of um, promotion for the World Cup and, and the games here in Bristol. Uh, no, it's absolutely fantastic. From a club point of view, it's right where we want to be, hosting an iconic event you know, at the very top of its game, you know, the, the best quality cricket in the world coming to Bristol, coming to the campground, amazing. But, but almost more importantly, it's about the city. We're very lucky today, we've got some of the England players down, we've obviously got the Mayor down, we've got the League Councillor, in terms of the Cabinet, in terms of sport, you know, the city's come together to basically help us bid for this, and now it's coming together to celebrate the fact that, you know, we're only three months away. I've, I've heard today Bristol's the European city of sport, so, um, you know, it's great that it can have, um, you know, that kind of impact, and hopefully we'll get a lot of people down to all our games, and, you know, there's, there's a few games on Sky, we've got the England-Australia game here in Bristol, and... Uh, we certainly like coming here. We, we get to have three fixtures here, so hopefully that'll be um, a good sign for us. Well, it's a huge thing for Bristol. We, we've been meeting with sports leaders from the city, talking about how we bring world-class sport uh, to Bristol, and, and this is it. This is exactly what we want to do. Massive for the profile, fantastic example to the population, great day out um, available. Personally, I've not really been to Bristol much. Um, I was 12th man in the summer here. Um, so I've run the drinks, um, but I'm re really looking forward to playing here. The crowd was fantastic in the summer and hopefully we can get a few more down. I was lucky enough to play in that game and um, yeah, I think it was our highest T20 score that we've ever got as an England team and um, yeah, so I've got good memories coming back here and um, it certainly seems a good, a good ground for women's cricket in particular. I think, you know, the atmosphere created um, by all the, you know, the fans that come in is, is excellent and yeah, it's going to be really exciting. So you're looking forward to the batting track by the sounds of it? Yeah, <laughs> personally I am. Hopefully, um, you know, I'm not. <laughs> keep the groundsman suite and um, you know get a lovely track there. Um, but um, it's not all about me. <laughs>